There's a third thing I want you to get, and that is this, follow the godliest people. It's so amazing as I read this, and this is true all through human history. There is a propensity for people to follow the wrong guys. I mean, think about it. Two million people are siding with the ten guys instead of the two. Well, it's the majority. We should go with the majority, and then let's just have, you know, let's just kill Moses, and we'll have an election, and then we'll just appoint someone else. Bad decisions all the way around. Better to stay with the guys who are trusting God. Who are the godly people? They're the godly people who are trusting God. And specifically in verse 24, it emphasizes that my servant Caleb, it's to, it, these verses up here describe how the, the ten spies, how they didn't have a heart for God and how they weren't going to experience the, the, the blessing of the land. But my servant Caleb, because he has a different spirit, he's followed me fully, I will bring him into land. His descendants are going to have the land. Joshua the same way. Now God knows that Moses and Aaron are going to sin and they're going to end up missing out too. But these two guys are going to go in and occupy the land. Why? Because they have a different spirit. My question is this. Who do you naturally follow, friends? People are constantly pulling at us. Follow me, follow me. The question is this. Are you godly? Do you got a history of being godly? And do we got a history of the hand of God being with you? If not, find someone else. The vast majority of people are followers, but the problem is we tend to follow the wrong people. Children do that, right? And foolish adults do that as well. 